I was in Arizona two days ago, so this is the time of year to go, by the way, if you're going to go. Don't go there in July and fall for that dry heat stuff they give you. <laughs> Five days, all I kept hearing was, doesn't feel 115, does it? <laughs> Feels 285, sport. I learned something laying by a pool. It's time to get in the house when your eyebrows just burst into flames. <laughs> laying there and <laughs> whoa. That's it, kids, we're going in. Daddy's starting to smolder. Wife screaming at me, put your sunscreen on. For what, basting? Let's get out of here. Run with me, kids. God has abandoned this place. Run. Don't look back, you'll turn to salt. I read it in a book. Run. And then you hear about the health benefits. Apparently, it's healthy living inside a volcano. And they're right, I wasn't there two days and the water on my knee evaporated, so look at that. And we were staying near Sun City, Arizona. I don't know if anybody's been to Sun City, but a retirement community. The seniors that live there, they drive golf carts licensed by the state. And I tell you this, because driving around, I actually saw a golf cart overturned in a ditch. All right, a couple of you as sick as I am. That was, <laughs> truthfully, that was my reaction to that tragedy. <laughs> Come on, man, someone lost control of a golf cart. At what point did you just voluntarily give the state back their driver's license? How'd you like get the black box back from that accident? The pedal stuck, I'm doing 11, 12, I'm up to 14, I can't hang on. Tell my wife I loved her. <laughs> It'd be real easy on the police. They just run next to you. All right, Pops, pull it over. I got you doing nine and a six. And I'm not making fun of old people, look at me. I'm 62, which means two years ago I had a physical at the age of 60, thought I was in pretty good shape. I was 30 pounds heavier two years ago. So the doctor calls me up after my physical. I'm waiting for him to tell me how a great shape I'm in. He goes, if you were part of a wildebeest herd, the lions would be circling you, pal. Do you do anything aerobically? I said, I don't know, let me look the word up. I'll call you back. So my wife and I get into an argument whether or not I do aerobics or not. She buys me a Fitbit for no other reason than to prove her point. <laughs> Fitbit monitors my entire life. Tell me how many times I get up in the middle of the night. You were up five times, Jeff. Restless? Well, Brad and Angelina are splitting up. Who can sleep? <laughs> and then I'm watching Golf Channel. Uh, at 10 in the morning, 2 in the afternoon, Fitbit sends me a text message. Are you dead? You've taken 78 steps in four hours. And most of that's because my foot fell asleep and then I was banging it on the floor. Leave me alone. And then I found out like everything in life, you could game Fitbit. You don't even have to leave the chair to rack up steps. You just move your arm up and down. Yeah, so I'm eating potato chips a couple months ago in a hotel and my wife calls me. What are you doing? I'm running a 5K, babe. I'll call you back. What's that crunching sound? It's my bones, I'm brittle, I'm old. Just stop asking me questions and making me lie to you, woman. So anyway, the doctor said I had to move, that's the whole point. So my wife comes downstairs one morning to breakfast and she says, you know, Jeff, I was thinking, every man in this room that's married knows, when your wife says, you know, I was thinking, all the air in your body goes right out, Jack, because what she was thinking about is something she's gonna want you to do. You're not going to want to do it, but I've been married 32 years. I ain't a man anymore anyway, so. I just said, what was you thinking about, Buttercup? She said, I was thinking about what the doctor said. We have to do something aerobically. I said, I don't think he said we have to do anything. He said, I have to do something. She said, well, I've always wanted to ski. That's what she said to me, always wanted to ski. We've been married 32 years. That's the first I've heard of it. I said, I'm not taking up the sport at the age it killed Sonny Bono. Do you understand that? You want me dead, woman. Poison me like otherwise. At least I get a meal out of it. I tried skiing when I was in my 20s. I got knocked unconscious by the chairlift. What more sign from God do you need? And then the insurance company, they wouldn't cover my head injury. Guy called me up at home, said, you got hit in the head with a chairlift. I said, yes, sir. He goes, wow, that makes you a moron. We consider that a pre-existing condition. <laughs> they had me.